Okay, hi there, Anna K. Morris here with your three-part coaching video series about my friend Linda. I'm sure she's just dying right now that I'm doing three videos about her, but um, this one is the best part in my opinion, so I'm so glad that you're here. Um, it's the third coaching video in this series. So this one is entitled, um, Celebrate Yourself. So last weekend, um, if you've seen on my social media, um, I was in Puebla, Mexico with Derek, um, for a party that my friend Linda planned, uh, 18 months ago that we were aware of, but I think it was actually two years ago that she started the planning process. Now I want to give you a little bit of, of, um, history on this. So Linda, um, had a cinquentenera, which if you know, um, in Mexico, in Mexican culture, um, a quinceanera is really common. It's when, you know, girls turn 15 and, um, Linda was turning 50. So she renamed it a cinquentenera. And I, I, I just can't say enough about that. So here's the backstory. Linda has never been married and has never had kids and has gone to more than 70 weddings. I don't know how many godchildren she has, but I want to say it's like between eight and 10 god. I think it's a lot, right, Linda? I don't remember exactly how many, but it's a lot. And I can't even imagine how many baby showers, bachelorette parties, right? Like, because she's a yes. She's the person who shows up, brings the party, has the bells on, orders the extra bottle of champagne, plans a, an excursion that you never even knew you wanted to do, right? Like she's the one that's making it all happen. And she's done that for so many of her friends around the world. So she very, Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City was like, I'm going to have a birthday party for myself. And she planned it in Pueblo, Mexico for her 50th. I think there were, I don't quote me on, don't quote me on the exact number, but it was somewhere between 120 and 140 people flew to Pueblo, Mexico, which if you don't know, it's uh, about two hours southeast of Mexico City. And people came in from Spain, England, as far as Australia, Argent, uh, was there anybody from Argentina? No, I don't think so. A lot of people from California, a lot of people from New York that I loved seeing that I hadn't seen in ages. People that you never knew you needed to know were there. Because when you surround yourself with a friend like Linda, she surrounds herself with such great people that then you get this extra benefit of meeting the most magical people in the whole world, in my opinion. So there we are. It was a five-day uh, birth, I almost said wedding, um, a five-day birthday party and um, culminating with this huge party on Friday night where there were two dinners served. She had chilaquiles at 2 a.m., a DJ that played till 5 a.m. The party started at 6 and went till 5 a.m. We hung in there till about 3, and I'm very proud of the fact that I was able to do that, especially given the fact that I'm not drinking, and I did that whole trip without having a sip of alcohol, and I'm feeling so good, I never even wanted it, which is even better. Um, and I remember everything, so that's even better. But the... The fact that Linda was bold enough to celebrate herself is what's so inspiring, is that she was bold enough to say, I'm a yes in all of your lives, and I'm a yes in my life too. And by God, we're going to celebrate my birthday. It was so magical. It wasn't just five days with one party. It was something every single day. The thought and the effort that she put into all of that because she knows herself well enough to know that what she values, what is paramount in her life are her friendships. The friendships that she has made with people all over the world from all walks of life. That and I would say adventure. She really loves adventure. But that, those relationships, for her to have all of those people in one place was the most extraordinary thing I've ever seen. It was one of those trips where you just had your phone out at all times because you wanted to make sure you were getting somebody's number, right? It wasn't enough to be connected on social media. You're immediately WhatsApping everybody because you want to make sure that you stay in touch with the people that 
you've heard about for so, so, so long that you've, you know, been friends with in another part of your life that lucky for me, I got to reconnect with on this trip. But really and truly, none of that would have been possible for us if Linda hadn't been willing to celebrate herself. So now I'm not suggesting that everybody needs to go out and plan a five day, you know, international birthday party trip. Although maybe you do. In fact, I would say many of you do. Um, but maybe it's as simple as like allowing yourself to have a birthday celebration when you're somebody that doesn't normally, you know, do that. You kind of hide and, and don't do something big for your birthday. Like maybe it's something that you do allow your friends to like celebrate you or you get a big promotion at work and you normally wouldn't say much about it. Instead, you like take yourself out to a really great dinner and celebrate yourself. I want this video to be a reminder to celebrate your wins. I just was talking to somebody earlier today and she was like, well, I really feel like I should be here and I should be doing this and I should be doing that. And I was like, wait a minute, two year, two months ago, didn't you, weren't you really, really depressed and like living with your parents? And now you have, are like doing your own thing, living in a new city, in a beautiful apartment, like happier and lighter than I've seen you. And that was only two months ago. Let's not forget how quick that actually was. And we are so, we're always like thinking next, next, next. I just did this thing where I looked back because I'm quick to do that with my coaching business. I'm like, well, I should be here and I should be doing this and I should be doing that. And then I'm like, but wait a minute. I literally just started this year. Yes, I've been coaching as like a hobby, but I didn't start it as a business until this year, really until June. So only the last few months have I had like my sign out. I'm taking clients. I'm building my courses like I'm, you know, doing this in the last six months. I've been preparing for 15 years, right? But to compare myself to Tony Robbins or Marie Forleo or Gabrielle Bernstein or whoever else I admire out there, when I only really started six months ago or a few months ago, is just the opposite of what I teach, right? Because when you feel good, more good starts to happen. That's the synchronicity that I'm talking about, which don't worry, I'm coming back with one more video. So this is gonna be your bonus video, the fourth video of the synchronicity that then happened on this, re on I said retreat because it felt like a retreat. It was a birthday party, but it felt like a, a wedding and a, and a retreat and like all of these things that I didn't even know that I needed. Um, so, Stay tuned for the synchronicity that you're going to hear about in this next story. I'll see you uh, tomorrow with your fourth video. Okay, I love you. Bye.